Do you know how to access an OLT through NatLink HG3221 DONT Wi-Fi? Firstly connect NetLink OLT to the PC. Then go to LUN settings. Open your PC network settings. Change IP manually. Click the OK button. Then open your web browser. Then enter your IP address on the URL 192.168.8.200 Then press enter button. A dialog box will appear. Type your username and password. Enter verification code and click on the submit button. We will log in to OLT status page and you can see the OLT basic information details. The initial step is to set lookback time or a new profile, service profile, etc. Click the OLT configuration tab. Select lookback option. Click Global option, then Enable status, select Mode only alarm, set age time, click the Submit button, then select System configuration tab, select System time option. Set year, month, date, hour, minute. Click the submit button. Click login management option. Click the clean button to clear the login access list. After that, create a new profile and service profile click the profile configuration tab select the onu profile option click add profile option the profile creation table will appear enter profile name type profile description Enter max VEIP count. Click the commit button. Then create a service profile. Click the service profile option. Click add profile option. Enter your service profile name. Click the Add button. Select Details and Modify option. Select the Mode option and set it as Transparent. Choose Port Type as VEIP. Enter port ID. Click the commit button. The service profile creation is completed. Then create the VLAN.
Select the OLT Configuration tab. Click the VLAN option. Enter your VLAN ID. Enter description. Click the add button. VLAN ID created. Then set VLAN. Then tag VLAN in app link port, which you receive the ISP service. Select the VLAN port option. Choose your VLAN ID. Choose your port and tag it. Click the submit button. After that, you can create another management VLAN for accessing purpose. Click the VLAN option. Enter your VLAN ID. Enter description. Click the add button. VLAN ID created. We do not need to tag this VLAN to uplink port. because this VLAN is only used for managing purposes. After that, you can give the IP address for this VLAN. Remember one thing, you can give the IP in the ONT's same IP range. Select the route option Select the management VLAN in the VLAN ID option. Enter your ONT same IP range in the IP address option. Then enter your subnet mask in the subnet mask option. Click the submit button. Next step is to create a line profile including management VLAN. Select the profile configuration tab on the side menu. Select line profile option. Then select the add profile option on the top. Enter your profile name. Click the Add button. Line Profiles list will appear. Click Details and Modify option. Enter Tcont name. Click the Add button. Select the Jamport option on the top. Enter a Jamport name. Click the Add button. Select Service option. Enter your VLAN in the VLAN list option. Click the Add button. Then click the service port option on the top. Enter your user VLAN and translate VLAN. Click the add button.
we create a line profile now. Then add the O entity for selecting OLT managing. Select the ONU configuration tab on the side. Select the ONU auto find option. Choose ONU and select the add button. Add ONU table will appear. Select ONU profile. Click the submit button. Select ONU or list option. Click the refresh button to refresh the page. Here you can see that the ONU is online. Then bind the ONU service profile and line profile. Select the profile configuration tab on the side menu. Click bind profile option. Select config option. Select your line profile and service profile. Click the commit button. A dialog box will appear. Click the OK button. Then go back to the status page. Click the save button to save all the configurations in OLT. Then we need to log in ONT. Open a new tab. Enter your ONT login IP on the address bar. ONT login page will appear. Enter your username and password. Enter verification code and click on the login button. We will log in to the ONT status page. Then create an additional SSID. Select the network tab on the side. Network setting options are available here. Select 5G option. Then scroll down. Go to WLAN multiple BSSID settings option. Here we need to create an additional SSID access point 1. Select the AP1 checkbox. Go to the disable WLAN interface option and disable it. Then you can change the SSID name in the SSID option. Give an SSID name. Click the submit button. Then go back to the status page. Click the user info option. The newly added SSID name can be seen here. Then configure the WAN connection. Select the network tab on the side menu. Select WAN info option. Select the default WAN option on the connection name option. Scroll down and delete the default WAN configuration. Select Add New WAN option. Select Mode as Route. Choose IP version as IPv4 on the drop-down list. You can select IPv4, IPv6, whichever is suggested or used by your ISP. Select connection 
mod as PPOI. Select Net 3. If you have a VLAN ID, click to enable the VLAN. Enter your VLAN ID. If you do not know your VLAN ID, contact your internet service provider or operator. Type username and password it is provided by the ISP operator. Ensure that the service mode is internet. Go to the bind port option. Select LUN1, LUN2, LUN3, LUN4, WLUN AP02.4G and WLUN AP05G. Click the submit button. Then go back to the status page. Select one info option. Here you can see the status is up. Next, we need to configure the bridge mode. Select the network tab. Select one option. Select add new one option. Select mode as breach. Choose IP version as IPv4 on the drop down list. If you have a VLAN ID, click to enable the VLAN. Enter your VLAN ID. Ensure that the service mode is internet. Then disable LUN. DHCP button. Go to the bind port option. Select WLUN AP15G. Click the submit button. Then go back to the status page. Select one info option. Here you can see the status is up. Then try to connect SSID to in your phone Wi-Fi or PC. Open your phone Wi-Fi. Search available network. Click to connect. SSID to OLT access. Now Wi-Fi is connected. Open your web browser. Then enter your IP address on the URL. A dialog box will appear. Type username and password. Enter verification code and click on the login button. Now you can see that we are able to access the OLT through ONT Wi-Fi. Please subscribe our channel and also press the bell icon there for getting notifications. Leave a comment.